hello everybody in this video we are going to create a UI for our game and uh, in UI we will definitely add some icons uh, for movement and jump functionality so I already have bring these uh, UI icons uh, where you can see that we have right icon left icon jump icon and shoot icon as well so definitely you can bring or you can create your own uh, icons so it's up to you and then we will move further so in game view if you go to game view you can see that free aspect or ratio is selected in default we should change it to 12 18 to 7 uh, 20 landscape we need a landscape uh, uh, game okay so I have changed it to landscape and 12 18 to 720 is good resolution okay now we will create our canvas so for creating canvas we will right click here we will go to UI and then we will create a canvas so canvas is very important thing so when we create a canvas you can see one event system is already added also added so for canvas you can see certain settings so here you uh, we have to select uh, uh, constant pixel size we will change it to scale with screen size and we will add 1280 into 720 so it is very important step you should do this otherwise you will have a, a very bad experience with different UIs okay so now we created our canvas and second step is to create buttons on the canvas so let's right click go to UI and we can create a button okay so now we will zoom uh, to button by pressing F and you can see that this button is in the middle we don't need text on this button also we need an icon on this button so we will add left icon here okay and then we can resize it to make it 160 160 and actually 120 will be good figure I think for width and height and we can go to game view and you can see that this is quite uh, nice I think I think this size is fine so we'll just move it to left side and where you want to place it and then we will just rename it to left button okay sorry button uh, also for mobile screens whenever you add UI elements you have to anchor that element so we will click here and we will anchor this button to the left bottom okay so now we will select left button we will press ctrl D to duplicate and here we will add another button and we will rename it to right button or whatever name you can add and we will change the sprite for this button also we will just click both buttons we will make duplicate and we will move these buttons to the right corner and here we will change the names of the button so for this button we will just add for example fire button and for this button we can name it jump button and then we will change the surprise of these buttons so for jump button uh, this is the surprise for fire button we have this icon so that's nice now we have to add functions on our button okay so for adding functions we will select our left and right buttons because we need same script on both buttons okay and then we will move here and uh, you can see on click function here so uh, in on click uh, actually not on on click we will just uh, add a component here and uh, for the component we will add access touch controls uh, hopefully so uh, yeah so here we will add uh, access touch uh, button okay so this is the button uh, this is the script which will hold its uh, 
movement okay so here you can see we have horizontal axis also we have axis value which should be minus one if we are moving towards left okay and response speed we should make it 1000 1000 so it will be smoother movement okay so after that we will also uh, yeah actually we have selected both buttons and here you can see left button is fine for right button we will make it one okay positive one so that's nice now we will select the fire button and jump button and we need a script for this and for this we need a script of button handler okay so now we have created button handler script and uh, also we will select the fire button and for name here we will add fire one okay with a capital f for jump button we will add jump okay and from where these are uh, coming actually if you go to edit project settings and if you go to inputs uh, input manager you can see axis so these are already added fire one fire two fire three okay if you want to an add any other uh, key for certain purpose you can do that as well okay you can increase the value and then you can name whatever you want and then you can choose that button as well okay so this uh, keys input keys in are added to map our touch controls or our um, uh, simple pc controls key with keys uh, to control that thing okay so uh, these names jump and fire one are already connected here okay already added here that's why we are using it. so now we will select fire uh, button and uh, we will add one more uh, component uh, and the component will be event trigger okay event trigger and uh, for event trigger we will add a new event trigger and here you can see we have certain options so uh, we will select uh, set down uh, sorry pointer down okay and you can add it for pointer down and pointer up so we will select pointer down and here we will click and we will add our button fire button we will add it here then we will go to no function and we will go to button handler and we will say set down state okay because we are pressing uh, pointer down okay uh, also we will create one another type and we will uh, select pointer up okay and for pointer up uh, this button is already added now we will select button handler set up state okay now we will select jump function and we will do the same with this event trigger we will select add event and the pointer down and uh, yeah here we will add our jump button and then we will select the button handler and we will add set down state similarly we will add pointer up we will select pointer set up state that's it for our functions and now hopefully our player will move absolutely fine so let's play the game I'll, and let's see what will happen so now you can see that uh, nothing is working nothing works because uh, I think we didn't have added the player guy everything is fine player controller is added and uh, what is the problem freeze rotation and so let's go to player select the player guy and here we will see that the uh, script is already added and uh, what is the problem fixed update yeah so okay i will check what is the problem
Yeah, actually, uh, we are not instantiating, uh, initiating the uh, main thing, which is local scale is equal to uh, transform dot local scale. Okay, this is very important. Also, we are not getting the rigid body, so we are should get component, and here we will say rigid body 2D, rigid body 2D. So it is important as well to instantiate the character. So uh, other things are fine, I think. So let's see. Save. And now we will move towards Unity again. And here if we refresh and if we play the game, then let's see what will happen. Okay, so now you can see that we are walking and one problem you can see that uh, yeah, he's not moving right side, he's not flipping, okay. So that we will solve and also he's shooting but uh, you can see the shooting bullet is going upward, jumping is absolutely fine but the problem with jumping is that it's too big, okay. So we need smaller jump. So we will select the player. Uh, we will open it and uh, for jump we will make it 300 maybe. Bullet speed is fine but bullet position was wrong. So we will select the barrel okay, and we will move its this y axis towards front okay. So this is the problem. So we will rotate it to 90 degree minus 90 here. Okay. So now you can see uh, we can shoot in front direction. So let's play and let's see what will happen. So uh, yeah. So now you can see everything is fine. If you shoot, you can see we can shoot absolutely fine. But the bullet. Uh, is upward and it should be downward so again we will go to bullet and uh, we will open the prefab and you can see the bullets pivot points are different okay and we need its pivot point to be rotated uh, at uh, this one should be towards this side okay so now what we can do for bullet we can create empty object okay and we will add bullet inside this empty object actually yeah so that's with this way we can solve the issue so let's add it bullet prefab here just to make it focus and you we we can't change the pivot here okay so uh, I will just create an empty object and uh, for this we will just rename it to bullet uh, bullet only and for this we will change the direction to minus 90 okay sorry yeah, minus 90 okay so that's fine so now uh, we will select bullet prefab and we will add it under bullet okay so now this bullet has the right direction okay uh, so we will just move to this bullet prefab and uh, i will just delete uh, its component so i will just open it and i will just make delete it delete it delete rigid body even okay so now uh, save it and then we will move back then we will select bullet and on the bullet we will add rigid body 2d uh, with a zero gravity and also capsule collider 2d and uh, then we can just make it smaller as well so it should be similar to bullet 
also we will make it trigger and then we will add the bullet destroy script so now we will just drag off this prefab here and this is new prefab bullet and now we can select our player guy and open it and here in the bullet we will just add a new bullet here so let's play it again and hopefully this time bullet will be in right direction yeah you can see bullet is in right direction also we have no gravity scale so that is nice but when we move to left then we can't move to right again okay so for solving this issue we have to make some change in uh, our script okay so yeah so we should if facing right equal to false and yeah false and if this is the case then what we want to do okay for this okay i will check what is the problem okay, so there was no uh, difference uh, before and now but uh, I just have organized uh, these lines a little bit and now it's working absolutely fine okay so this is our script for player movement and uh, now you will see that everything will work absolutely fine so let's play the game and you will see smooth walk of our player yeah you can see we can control our player also one more thing that uh, yeah when we leave this yeah actually that's fine actually yeah so yeah shooting is also fine and jump animation is actually absolutely fine so i like it so yeah definitely we can't test it like jumping and controlling these because this is not mobile this is desktop so that's it for this uh, video uh, we have successfully added the uh, player and player controls definitely we will add same controls on other players as well but before that we will add a lot more functionalities for all player and after that when we are finished with one player then we will move further and we will add all steps for other players as well. That's it for this video. Let's meet in the next video. Goodbye.